Hello once again, welcome back to the channel which is the Impact Lounge. I'm your boy BQ. If you're a first timer, if you're an Impact Wrestling fan, this is the place to be. It's the number one place to be. So consider hitting that subscribe button. Um, this happened a couple days ago. The news came out and I wanted to uh, talk on it real quick. I wanted to do it a little sooner than this, so my bad. But the uh, Impact Wrestling viewership came out. It was down. And this was a shock. This was a surprise to a lot of people because we're coming off the heels of Slammiversary, which was a great show. It, uh, it had some good surprises. I thought the you know the surprises were better than last year. Maybe the names weren't as big, but just more intrigue to what these names could do. And uh, it had the wrestling world talking. Slammiversary. So viewership was down a little bit, but the target demo doubled. And what's the target demo? 18 to 49. And Showbuzz was saying that the median age for the Impact Wrestling viewer this this um, episode was, I believe, 48 or 48. It was 47 or 48. It was right there, kind of on the bubble. And yeah, that sounds kind of old, right? I mean, I'm I'm almost 42, and, and that to me still sounds old, you know what I mean? And I'm, I'm closer to that age. But the median age for Impact, like last episode, and on average, has been about 60, 61, 62. And why is 18 to 49 important? That's the that's the age range where advertisers feel like they can market their products to them. And that's why you see the better commercials. The, the you know, I, I think AEW was a, a .4 or some, something along those lines. And so you, you watch their show and you see the commercials and they're, they're just more geared to the younger audience, right? You watch Impact, it's Frank Thomas um, with the testosterone pills and, you know, on Access TV, these commercials are geared towards a much older audience because advertisers who are going to pay your company money don't see that target demographic watching your company or watching your product. That's the demographic that's likely to have more disposable income, um, especially, you know, the younger side to where it's maybe not disposable, but they're, <laughs> they're, they're more likely to spend their money because they don't prioritize saving it. And they have less, you know, what they consider to have less brand loyalty as well. I think the older you get, the more loyal you become to certain brands and products. You know, so this number doubled, folks. And that means Impact is starting to hopefully appeal to a younger audience. And that's why you, you've heard my criticisms about trying to revive ECW and... Uh, relying so much on the the tna library because what do i always say that there's a whole audience of people out there that a whole young audience that doesn't remember the downfall of tna don't remember the dark years they don't know anything about the bischoff hogan era like this is your opportunity to appeal to those younger people and you know and we talk a lot about impact doesn't bring in younger talent and young fresh talent like they i mean they actually do. They actually have quite a bit of young, fresh talent on the roster. But there's other things you have to do to appeal to that younger audience because that's the audience that's on social media as well. Like when I'm watching Slammiversary, within the five, first five minutes of the show when they're showing people in the audience, like I must have known six people from Twitter. I shouldn't, I shouldn't be knowing who's at the shows just based off Twitter. But it's because the social media following is it's, 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 a, it's a tight following, but it's a smaller following because outside of that demographic, like those, you know, 50 and up, they're not on Twitter and being active on, you know, these social pages. So that's the, the audience you need to start appealing to. You have to. So it, it's, your, it's the, the way your product is being presented. So that's what I've got, folks. This is a quick one. Um, leave your thoughts in the comments about what you think um, about the viewership and, and, and all these things. And I'm your boy BQ. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.